Good morning, folks. Welcome to Saturday, the big streaming day. I love it. I have a good time with it. And we're going to be playing Wayward today to start off. A goofy little roguelike survival turn-based game. <laughs> Before we jump right in, though, I'm still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet. So if you want to help with that, below my stream, I've got a link to his GoFundMe. I have a, a bot command that shares the same link every once in a while. And on my layout, I have it just there <laughs> if you, if that helps you to do it as well. Any way you choose to help, really, I really appreciate you for it. All right. Continues. Oh yeah, I need, I need to file a stream. I was like, what? <laughs> Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there, that, there we go. Alright, oh yeah, we almost got the, the garden kind of going. We're still just kind of living on the beach a little bit. There's all this tree bark. Kind of clean up our inventory just a hair. This is all just uh, stuff to make uh, string out of. Okay, sweet. We got corn. Hello, 3Gs. Good morning. I saw that, I think I saw yesterday while I was like looking at Twitter before work that you were streaming yesterday. How did that go? Just shoveling a very dry waffle down my throat. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I've never played Death Training, but I think I watched my roommate play some of it whenever it first came out because, like, she was, like, super waiting for it. And it looked, it looked interesting, but I don't know. I play a lot of just goofy games like this. I'm doing pretty good. I've got some breakfast here I'm kind of pecking away at, and... We're starting our big stream day today with uh, this nice little chill delight. I think what I was doing over here was making some more of these solar stills so that we could just constantly have water all the time without having to worry about having to really, I mean, we still have to like put all the water in there, but we like having just all these stills just constantly going, they run off the sun. So it makes things a lot simpler. You can just walk up to one and drink water from it. I, I already said that one's got water. That one's got water. Those two need filled back up. But that's okay. We have the means to do so. And then those will eventually get desalinated. Okay. I think before I start doing my metal hunt, I want to get more of these made, get this fence finished off, and maybe start propagating these cucumbers a little more. Cause... Ooh we, uh, ooh, we got a remarkable cucumber. 
That's actually better than what I was expecting us to get. So we're going to dismantle this cucumber to get its seeds. And we're going to plant those immediately. Oh, shit. I, wrong button. I got to put that fertile soil back down. And press 6. I'll plant these remarkable cucumber seeds. And we'll just get this, cu this cucumber out of the way. Okay, we'll put these plant, lead, plant uh, roots away. Well, Brad, uh, uh, how's your tea going? Your tea advent calendar. I think I've seen some of it on Twitter, but I don't know. I might have missed a few days. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Glad to hear that. Glad I'm glad you're enjoying it. How's our axe doing here? 322 out of 460, okay. Yeah, I need I need a few more of these uh, fence posts. Which means I need a pole, which means one of these branches gets to get sacrificed. We got some snacks we can eat. We got some apple. We got an apple. We got another apple. Uh, let's provide a uh, a leaf to our fr our little goat friends here that we totally aren't just keeping as um, <laughs> we're we're totally not just keeping them forever for no for you know nothing. Branches. I'm trying to stay as organized as this chaos configuration will allow. Like everything's got a pile, but it's all piled on the fucking beach. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, is this really organized? And the answer is probably not, but whatever. Oh, a gate takes like eight logs. Sweet Jesus. All right. Um, oh, wait. I probably have some stuff in my other bag. Oh, I've got like this stuff. Oh, no. It takes two logs. I, I misread that. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just misreading everything. Okay, that chest is full. We have a lot of uh, limestone powder. Like a lot of limestone powder. Oh, we'll these we'll keep these two because they're actually worth a decent amount of credits. We have some stuff on the ground here that are just all like the exceptional quality or they've got like some sort of buff to them that lets them make them more worth more money. If 
got this pestle and mortar on me. I should probably leave that here. I could put in all these apple seeds I get from various things, but mm, not really feeling it. These, this poor spider over here is just shitting itself. We're gonna risk a bite to grab the stuff. Because the spider is not a tamed spider. I could have it tamed, but that would take meat, and I don't want to, like, invest meat in the spider if I can just, like... It, it, it just it kind of exists here, and um, it's all this free string material. And all I have to do to get it is walk over there, pick it up, and risk getting bit once or twice, which... The spiders aren't very threatening to begin with. They're, pr they're pretty weak, so I don't really mind the risk. It's a lot less stuff that I have to get, and that along that along with like these makes like a lot less fires I have to start. Which fire costs resources to do that aren't as easily they, like you can just go cut down a tree, but it's not always advised to do so so it's kind of like a weird like like just invest like do you want to invest this time into this thing and usually the answer is probably no probably these snake scales are gonna be super nice once we can make some armor out of them all right I I need to finish this fence um, at some point I will break through this other side of the mountain to make like a escape hatch in the event something goes down like some big ass aberrant monster comes after me so I might go to cut some trees down on this side oh there's also a slot there's a rat chop oh here's another spider there's another rat. Where, where were all these critters at? Come on, spider. I know you want to. <laughs> yeah, we're a little strong for these... For those critters. I'm almost maxed out or benign. I don't know what happens if you have benign all the way maxed out. I don't know if, like, they can go higher than what that score says there. Like, where it says benign and malignity. I don't know if that can go higher than that. I've never think I've gotten it that high. <laughs> so I was not sure if it just keeps going or if like something else happens. What a little, little apple tree. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm gonna probably punch through here. Or maybe I'll punch, I don't know. Probably end up punching through more than one place through the side of the mountain, so probably here at some point like along that axe there <clears throat> in the event I need to get through the forest let's uh, cut some of these trees down <clears throat> excuse me all right spider You've yeed your last ha. Let's see. Oh, there, there's already some lo some logs and stuff there. Oh, that tree must have been a remarkable tree. I kind of wish I was paying attention to that, because tr trees also have a growth qual like uh, quality levels. I, th like, I think up here somewhere I planted one that was uh, green or something. Oh, we did get some uh, some remarkable maple seeds. That's good. So it's not all 
fucked up. I didn't completely screw the pooch. Just mostly. Okay, so, ben so benignity is at 64,000. Does it keep going up? Benignity is capped, but this score is not. I see. I was wondering how that worked. Because if they made it to where it capped out at like... If, it, if both of them capped out at 64,000 and then you're basically just neutral for the rest of your life, then... That did seem like it'd be a little, um... A little easy. Alright, let's. Oh! Psh, God damn it! I keep planting this grass here, wanting it to grow, and I keep stepping on it and killing it. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, let's sort our stuff, and then we'll start making trips back to pick up those uh, branches. We also got this stuff to, to process, which. I mean, I've got a pile of animal hides over here because I just have too many right now. I could make, like, water skins out of them, but I prefer to just make stuff out of glass now that I have the technology to do so. Alright, so we got some brains. We got some bones. Sounds like a fucking Alice in Chains song. I got brains and bones. <laughs> I like Alice in Chains. Pretty good group. Okay, so now I need to start a fire here, which we've got some stuff on the fire that's, uh... Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Nine this is my hotkey for fire. Okay. Let's close that so that'll let us start making the animal. Animal glue. Animal glue. Okay, we're just using seawater because it's basically infinite. I think I think the stuff on there is turning to ash, which is intended. I wanted some of those things to turn to ash because I don't have any use for them otherwise. Okay, let's cook all this tainted meat. Let's keep the spider meat first. I'm gonna start making stuff into pemmican. Or we can try. Our cooking skill is a little low to make pumpkin very easily. Success chance is 61.4. I think pumpkin's less hunger than like just like like pumpkin smashing meat together it's less hungry than one of these but it doesn't have a shelf life anymore I don't think which makes it nice to kind of like you can use it for like kind of crappy or otherwise unsuitable meat sources Uh, 
tallow. Can I just make tallow? I need a mortar and pestle on me as well. Okay. Well, let's do that. I don't have any other use for the animal fat anyway, so. bad thing about doing the prepared uh, pemmican or cooked pemmican or whatever is that um, cooked pemmican has a shelf life compared to normal one which just doesn't so uh, let's is there something we can use this tallow for hmm it's, it's the balance of, do I want this food to just be good travel food? Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> good morning, Ventus. Hello. We are playing Wayward, and I am discussing the, the benefits and downsides of mixing cooked fat with, with pemmican to make it tastier, but give it a shelf life, and just having it be bland, but not go rot ever. So it's kind of like a, a risk-reward kind of deal. I currently don't have any other use for this tallow, I don't think. I'm just gonna dump it in the ocean. <laughs> As you do, you're just like, I don't need this shit. Okay, let's put that away. We've got some twigs, we've got some... I'm doing my best to stay organized, even though it was on the beach, still. Stick away. We need some water. Let's see. This one is purified, so we can just drink from it. Drink some water from that. We'll scoop up some more seawater, pour it into our solar still, and it'll just kind of do its thing. How you feeling, Ventus? Feeling better today? Last we talked, I think it was like Wednesday. Better awesome. Glad to hear it. All right. Let's go start fetching some of those logs that we um, were cutting down in the forest so we can make some more of these, uh, some more uh, fences. Run, rabbit, run! Put some of these logs in our backpack to make them weigh less, less carry more of them. Ah, those logs are a little too heavy to fit in the bag right now. That's okay. Excuse me. Alright, what is in this what is in this box here? Seeds, it looks like. Tail into sickness? Yeah. Kinda of sucks you're still like you're just coughing and gunking up, gunking it up and shit, but the the, the light at the, the light at the end of the tunnel is there, you can see it. <laughs> Alright, we'll, let's see. we'll put this no, pem th those pumpkins can just stay in here forever because they just don't go off. But we'll hold on to this one for when we need to eat something. Oh yeah, the, the, the body makes a lot of mucus.
There we go. I used up the glue I had. <clears throat> we'll just keep all of our seeds in here that we care about that aren't grass seeds. <clears throat> Something else we could eventually do is like we could dig, we could dig out an area in the um, in like the middle of the mountain and then to put down some dirt and grow stuff like in the mountain area to where critters shouldn't be able to get to it. The other alternative is what I'm doing now which is making like a fence, fenced in area. Okay, let's dismantle these branches. Okay, and that should make, let us make some more fence posts. Oh, maybe. One, tahu, three. All right. And I believe that is the last fence post we need. And we need like two gates. Which I can't remember what exactly those need. Let's see, a gate needs some dowels, uh, some planks, and logs. I'm holding on these logs just because they have a slightly better quality in case I need something of better quality. Okay, um, let's eat a cucumber. Mmm, cucumber. 2 health, 11 stamina, 4 hunger, and 3 thirst. That's the main reason why I'm trying to grow cucumbers is that you can just like eat them and re-hunger re re and re-thirst pretty easily. One of the better plant foods you can do in this game. <clears throat> and what I'm doing right here is I've got th th this uh, fertile soil here. Whenever plant finishes growing in it, will give the, that plant a chance to spread to nearby tiles. <clears throat> Which in that case can mean um, multiple plants growing as well. And then once those there are done, you can rip it all, you can pick it all up, grab whatever seeds out of what that you need out of, out of it, and then replant somewhere else. <clears throat> But before that, we need to get some more of these, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Another benefit of doing all this this woodwork is that when we're cutting down trees, we're getting, like, twigs and leaves and shit we use to start fires, which... is always nice to be able to start a fire. I mean, we have plenty of stuff to do it with, but... Uh, I think there are some dead trees over yonder we could grab from that would be a little less harmful to the environment, so we'll do so. Keep our malign as low as possible. Because this, this number up here is a balance of malign and benign. Benign usually is stuff that is nice to the nice to the environment, like planting trees and eating vegetables and that you grow and stuff like that. The opposite is usually stuff like industry, making weapons making tools, that kind of stuff. Uh, how bad are these here? Uh, yeah, unfortunately that, um, that those logs I found on the ground were not very good quality, so we're getting very Kind of damage things from it. And I was hoping to get a plank from that, but nah, whatever. Whatever, we got some trees here that. Oh, 
All right, so we've got planks here. Taking a little bit of damage because our stamina ran out. Which is fine, it's not the end of the world. Like, I'll, like, we'll deal with it. Like, we'll gain a little bit more back as we walk, and the sun's starting to go down, as you can kind of tell by, like, the, like, the light level or whatever, so. We'll, we'll, be going to, we'll be going to sleep soon anyway, so. I'm not really that concerned about stopping to take a break. What you can do by, like, just, like, right-clicking, like, resting on the ground, or, like, going to your little bedroll or your bed and taking a nap. All right, let's. Oh, hello, stinky rat. I don't need a lot of stamina to fight you. Come here. Good talk. <laughs> uh, for the sake of just getting stuff done, we're gonna just drink some water. It's, it's good to it's good to double check that there is purified water in this still before you drink from it because. Drinking the unpurified water would be basically drinking salt water, which is um, not as nice to drink as normal water. <laughs> and since the sun's going down, there's going to be less, um, it's just not going to be able to desalinate the water because, you know, nighttime. That's okay, though. We're going to be... Um, wooden wheel. Does that mean you can make a little fucking cart? A wooden... I think that means you can make a little fucking cart. That sounds pretty cool. I'm getting... I, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> As always. I'm getting horribly distracted. Yeah, the, our, our, our axe here is probably our most important tool because we use it to fight and we use it to cut trees. So using glue and stuff on that, it's usually like one of my first uh, ports of call. Okay, let's cook this. Oh, it's, co it's superior cooked tainted meat. Stones can go right there. Just trying to organize all this garbage, if, po if at all possible. We have a few branches that we can drop. So that was one goal I wanted to get done before we um, start going to hunt for like metal, like talcum powder and like iron and stuff like that. Um, another was to get some more of these um, stills made so that I could just have like a much more reliable source of water at all times of the day. Not only for myself, but I think if you water plants with 
if you think if you water plants, they grow slightly faster, so... If I'm trying to do stuff like this, I could just be watering the, uh... <clears throat> Matter of fact... Let's see. Do you have any clean water in there? You do? Okay, let's grab this water. <clears throat> and let's, uh... Yep, we'll help, we'll help our little cucumber plant grow. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I just have, I've, I've just had respiratory stuff for like the last like few years now, just because you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's it's sleepy bedtime. We are s camping. Okay, so basically camping makes it to where we sleep for longer, we have a better chance of starting a fire, so that would explain why we're having to, not having trouble starting fires now. Alright, so, we got this tainted meat that we're going to try to eat, it has a chance to poison us, well, how many turns does this thing have left? 470 something? Hmm. Oh, hello! <laughs> wakey, wakey! Was there any more friends outside? There might be some around the corner or something, but... But just to be prepared, we're gonna grab some plant roots and some, uh, some water. Because if we eat this tainted meat and it poisons us, we can make up, a, a, basically, a, a, like a poison cure drink. And since it didn't poison us, now we can just drink the water. Kind of a, kind of a way to kind of game the system, because you're not supposed to eat that tainted meat. But if you do it that way... You can eat the tainted meat and have an easier time surviving because, well, you just made some, you just made food out of something you probably weren't really, not normally meant, supposed to be able to eat. Which is, that's like the whole, that's like human existence is eating shit you're not supposed to eat. <laughs> It's like, oh, these seeds are too hard to bite through and chew on. Well, let's ground them up and turn them into bread. <laughs> Tail as old as time. I'm gonna drop this animal fat on the floor here, because whatever. And we'll have a growing collection of, like, animal pelts. <laughs> okay, let's grab some seawater. Start a fire, let's make the animal glue. And what should I strengthen next? Shovel's looking a little a little gross. Let's prepare all our stuff there, okay. And now we can cook even more tainted meat. We'll just kinda carry that around with us. So with our little garden, well, well, with the fence of the garden done, like, this is still gonna, like... Like, now that we have the fence done, that should keep stuff out of our garden. Unless it spawns in there, which I, there's not much I can do about that, I guess, but... But yeah. I got that done, so I wanna get more of these. Which means I need more glass.
find Sand of Worth and Hurling. I didn't realize that was a, a dual enchanted, like, item. <laughs> Sometimes when you're gathering your crafting stuff, you'll make, like, a uh, enchanted sort of item. Well, it's not really enchanted so much as it just has, like, extra qualities to it. Which, I mean, I guess that is <laughs> enchanted, but... Yeah, what we're gonna do now is... Just start just digging up a bunch of sand. That's partially why I fixed fix the shovel up because I mean, we're gonna use the shovel now and wanna make sure it doesn't break. the sand which should reduce its weight by a decent amount it'll also it'll also help our benign go up Plus, all that sand weighed a lot more than it did now that before we um, just ground it all up to little pieces. So now we can go in here. I don't even know what's in this bag. There's, I just got a bag in here. Um, not, there might not be anything in the. Yeah, there's uh, nothing stored in the bag. <clears throat> In that case, all this sand is going to go in here. <clears throat> Looks like we do have some coal over here in the wall, so when we do start to do stuff with uh, metal, well, some coal for fuel, which is nice. If I'm not mistaken, it's the sheet of glass that makes the uh, solar still. Let's just let's find out. <clears throat> yep, a sheet of glass. So we will make. Uh... Oh, these sheets of glass use. Um... Okay, so we we don't have only, we have some refined sand in here too. Let's uh, grab all that out, and we'll have sand like just in here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And we we'll use these to make some more solar stills. Prepare them for more skill. It honestly doesn't really matter much how repaired they are as long as they don't like have zero durability or whatever. Alright. So we made some more solar stills. Let's put 
put some of these planks away. Alright, that's not worth much more, so we're just gonna sort all of our, uh... Just try to keep all of our stuff sorted out a little bit. Seedlings going up nice. All right, so we made eight more stills. Frankly, that's probably going to be more than enough. Let's just build these. Because I'm also have to get, gonna have to get containers to go on them. Which those can be water skins. So I don't think the I don't think the containers that are attached to these take durability damage. At least I don't think they do. They might. And uh, maybe there's just something, maybe they just take damage and I just don't know they do, but we're probably just going to make some glass bottles instead. Alright, so that's <laughs> a lot. So, glass bottles. Who's going to need uh, two refined sand, limestone powder, and a cork. And corks, I believe, are made out of bark. So, let's see. Yeah, we made so it's eight corks, so now we need to go and, um... Take a little. Let's take a little. Just, just, just take a little nap on the dirt here, just to get some stamina back. Cause you just move slower, and it's kind of annoying when you're out of stamina. All right. Two, two. One, two, three, four. We have just enough refined sand left to make all the bottles I want. So let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our chance to craft these bottles is not very high. But we will get better. Our dexterity keeps going up, which gives us a little more stamina. When you get strength to ups, you get more HP and more carry capacity and, you know. It's well worth us failing so much trying to, like, uh... Trying to make these bottles, because, well, that's just how you get better in this game, is... You fail a lot but you just get better at doing stuff to the point where you don't fail. And also, if your skill gets high enough, there's a chance that you don't use stamina when you're doing something with that skill, too. So it's just a case of, like... Like, as you get... As you, when you get good enough, you just don't take use stamina anymore for stuff, which can let you just kind of work... A lot more effectively too. All right, so all of these have a, are gonna have containers attached to them, which means now I can fill all of them with seawater. Thirty-two. So I don't know if this whole f seawater part that I'm doing uses durability. It does. It does. Okay. I mean, I I figured it probably would, but. But doing this process here and hopefully using only like one durability, I, I do imagine that um, maybe drinking from these gets you the uses durability as well from the the container. But it's maybe maybe just gathering liquid from them with a the container doesn't. I just trying to think of the best way to game the system a little bit.
Okay, this one was empty anyway. It's almost broken, so let's uh, attach that one back. Attach this container. This one ha does have desalinated water. Let's see. Let's attach the container. It's not gonna let us attach the container back, is it? Well, we'll just attach this one instead. And <laughs> now we just have some water. Which is fine, because I think we were gonna go explore, try to find some. Uh Ooh, we have a visitor. So you better fucking run. I just killed a shark. <laughs> Victory is mine. More importantly, those shark steaks are mine. Those are a really nice source of food. Granted, we're still we still take a pretty decent amount of damage from the shark because well, our, our, we're wearing like basically like tree bark armor and and some mixed in like leather so it's not very defensive against the shark attacks but you start getting like metal stuff or scale armor and yeah <laughs> wouldn't be smart if we could start just like literally swimming with the sharks <laughs> and we're like bonking them and eating their food eating their meat raw like scoop it out of a shark, scoop it in your mouth. <laughs> okay. Time to do the tainted meat uh, lottery. Oh, okay. We got poison for once. I can show off the curing process. We're basically mixing some purified water with some uh, medical medical items, which includes like plant roots and charcoal and that kind of stuff. And then you just drink it, and then your poison's cured. Which also just lets you, doing that lets you basically eat this tainted meat without any regard for your own safety and you just gain a bunch of stuff back, so. It's, pr it's pretty, uh, it's pretty nice to be able to just be do that. We have some extra bone fragments from somewhere. Can't remember where. But that'll let us make some more glue. And at the same time, we can cook these uh, shark steaks here. Fish steaks, rather. Basically turn one shark into like 12 hunger. A little more than that if you want to eat the, the giblets too. And purified water. The giant spider is still sh shitting and farting over there. Uh, let's see how many skills we have six. Let's try to grab some from this. The snake is also not tamed, <laughs> so yeah, the snake snake hits a little harder than the spider does. <laughs> but these scales are probably worth worth it in the end. Let's see scales the string. Ooh, okay. Let's put down. Let's drop these uh, scales. And let's make some string. I've got a big pile of stuff here to make string with, so let's just make a bunch of string. String is useful to have anyway. String and string of endurance, huh? All right. Made another enchanted string. Is it also? It's also of endurance. Yeah, as your skills get higher, you just have a higher chance of making higher tier stuff anyway.
string of aptitude, huh? I don't know what aptitude does. <laughs> it glows brightly when used in a craft. Huh. Plus two crafting effect. Times two crafting effectiveness. So, I think that means you have a, a times two chance of, like, crafting whatever you're trying to craft with that. Uh, let's see. Well, in that case, let's, uh, grab this string. We're gonna drop all of our good quality string, because we're gonna try to make some, uh... We're gonna try to make some of the armor out of the, um... And we're going to try to make some armor out of those scales. Alright, cool. All right, so we're, we're currently wearing, wearing some uh, fur mittens. I kind of want to keep that that way because that gives us some uh, warmth in case we have to go somewhere that's cold. Let's see, what do these offer? How are these how do these compare to our our other um let's see three three defense? Minus one fire, minus one blunt. No, it's a plus one fire. So let's get fire resistance, okay. Heat insulation 40, cold insulation 20. Okay, not very good for cold insulation, but that's why we're gonna keep the fur the fur mittens there. Let's see, we got some bark leggings. Let's see, uh, one defense, one blunt, minus one piercing, minus two fire. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> it's pain. It's painstaking to um. So the way I'm understanding this is like this. Get these legs give me three defense, but. If something attacks you with like a piercing attack, these only provide two defense, which is fine because that's still more to like more defense than this would give in the same situation because this basically just gives no defense in a piercing situation. So we are absolutely gonna make these uh, scale legs. And it's gonna take all of this string that we have, <laughs> unfortunately. <coughs> Well, maybe I should make the, the the scale vest instead. Let's see, four defense. I think I have less to gain from that because no, I still have a, a bark tunic. Uh, four defense, one blunt, minus piercing, minus two minus fire. Let's see, uh, four defense plus one fire minus one blunt minus one piercing. Yeah, definitely probably definitely more worth to make the scale vest. Oh well, one of our needles broke. That's fine, whatever. Oh yeah, this is a pretty high skill level needed thing. I can imagine. Uh oh, maybe we should um, reconsider. Let's see, that is a uh, expert level. Yeah, you're not gonna get better by not doing it. So let's just try. Oh, hey, we managed to make one. It took like all of our stamina because we were we're we we're focusing very hard. <laughs> Well, 
we got something out of this at least. We got a scale vest. Reinforce it so that it lasts a while. Fix it again, and then we'll equip it. I'll give us two more defense. Looks kind of cool. It's all about the minor victories, right? Yeah, it's like we 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 we, we destroyed the ma vast majority of our scales. But on the other hand, we got a nice little little vest out of it. We can technically try to make another thing out of scales, because the the vest takes took like four. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Let's see. Let's compare the uh, things here. That is a uh, base two defense, a uh, scale beaver, a uh, scale belt. I don't think I even have a belt, <laughs> so. So perhaps I should make this belt. Or try to, anyway. Oh, alright. Yep, yeah, well, we just made a belt. And there's even more defense. Now, ultimately, I probably would be advised to um, get metal armor. Because I think it's probably just going to be better defense overall. But scale is probably light, pretty lightweight. I mean... 4.2 it's it's heavier than the bark tunic but it's, it's a little bit more substantial let's hold on we'll, we'll hold on to the bark tunic in the event I need it or something I guess let's see Right, well, with that little tangent out of the way, let's see. We got those made and ready and going. We got this going. Next thing to do would be try to go, go on a little adventure and find ourselves some metal. <clears throat> I kind of want some more, uh, another bottle so I can carry some more water with me. So we're going to get, we're going to do that first. Okay, so we're gonna need some sand. Let's crunch it up. Okay, then we'll light our fire. Oh, we need a cork, damn it. <laughs> That's okay, corks are pretty easy to get. We have so much we have just so much of this freaking uh, plant bark. Uh, we just get a cork and then we'll go make our bottle. Well, right, we'll fix this bottle. All right. That gives us two bottles that we can carry around with us. So it looks like I might be starting to get a little dark. So maybe we should uh, postpone the journey <laughs> for another time. Yeah, I think it's getting dark to the point where it might not be desalinating water anymore. Oh, I didn't think I could stand on those. I would assume you wouldn't be able to stand on a slower still. That seems like a bad thing to do. <laughs> but apparently not. You can just walk on them, I guess. 
That doesn't mean I'm going to, but you know. I'm purified, I'm purified, I'm purified, I'm purified. <laughs> ah, whatever. Maybe I'll go frolic in the forest for a little bit and then go to sleep. <laughs> Actually, I have a better idea. Now that we have a, um, a pretty sizable, like, bonus of benign right now, so we can use that to do stuff like mining without having to worry too much about, well, going over the, the limits and stuff. We're gonna move our campfire um, to below here. Let's see, let's go to gameplay settings, drop on chop, mine, harvest, dig. In part because we don't want our inventory full of garbage. Because we're going to dig this out by one, two, three, like another two things. Use up some stamina, use up some time. Well, that was not my intention. That leads to the under underneath underground caverns of the um Oh, well, there's some tin down here, but yeah, we it, there's a uh, dangerous things uh down there, so we might want to uh cover that up. We, we might, we, yeah, we're, we're probably going to cover that up. Let's just, um... Oh. Oh. We got a worm! Mmm, yummy! <laughs> yeah, we're going to cover this up. I mean, we can dig it back out if we really want to, but... Yeah, we're gonna be digging just a straight up escape hatch this way, cause in the event that like some sort of aberrant creature decides to pay us a visit, we they'll let us like kind of escape and kind of try to so we can probably try to plan. Like if we have to like leave to go do something like get water, we'd be able to do that. Let's see, um... What does it take to make a door? I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see, six planks. Oh, let's get some more planks. Drop that, drop that. Okay, that gives us five planks, and let's grab a sixth here. And. I need a. A singular uh, set of dowels here. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to dismantle a branch. Get us a stick. Drop that. Move that there. Move that there. Dismantle you. Shark. Oh no, our shark tooth is breaking. 
Yeah, that's why I put the shark tooth there, so that we can use that for uh, dismantling things instead of our knife all the time. Since you get a shark tooth from killing sharks, what else am I going to do with it? Might as well let it get used first. <clears throat> Sharpen item three. It has the same tier as the stone knife anyway, so anything we can do with the stone knife we can do with the shark tooth, so... Might as well use that first. Alright, anyway, we're gonna wanna make this a. Uh, make a door before we open this. Otherwise, things can just kinda get in here, and that's not what we want. Alright, now we have an escape route. If something goes uh, wrong. I don't know what that would be, but if, if, if it happens, we're ready. <clears throat> Alright, let's press. Nine and let's take let's take a little bit of a sleep in our little bed here. <clears throat> I think that was some pemmican I was meaning to eat, but I just never got around to it. Oh well. I mean, we already technically had kind of an escape route down here. You got the whole squad laughing over here. Look at them. Here they come. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, lower difficulties, which is basically the, if you have if you have more benign than you have malign, that, that adjusts your difficulty. Which means like the only these kind of things are kind of spawn at night, which is usually what you want. You usually don't want like a lot of like difficult shit trying to come after you. So I'm gonna kill the rat, but we are gonna. I want to um, get. I want to cage up this spider as well. Like how I have an, a certain different one up Gabu. there caged up. Gabu. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. I've got my coffee here. I'm just gonna finish off now before I forget about it. It gets ice cold. Yeah, but, but I feel like it would benefit me having another spider hitched up. Like, I have one up there, but having more than one probably would be uh, wise. <clears throat> so, I'll just have this spider chase me around for a while, like, make it feel like it's doing something. It's like you're, you're, it's like you're doing your part, spider! I don't want to use these two superior logs for this craft, so we'll just go there. Now, let's meander this spider back home. Come, come on, come on, you jerk ass. Is there another one over there? Probably. Come on, don't don't try to don't try to pretend you're not trying to chase me. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm not chasing you. I'm just uh, visiting the area. <laughs> I'm just paying a visit to the library. All right, so we're gonna want, oh, c come here, spider. I don't want it to get near the goats because one of those goats might be tamed right now and they will just beat the shit out of the spider. So let's, uh, we're gonna have to me meander it around through the forest here. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. 
we could always feed it some meat if we really wanted to like make it easy, because you can you can tame spiders, and I think tame things drop more resources. Oh, absolutely! Every it's kind of like a it's a weird mix of like a survival game with like a roguelike dungeon crawler kind of deal. Like in the default settings, <clears throat> if you don't move, nothing moves. But if you do something that takes a turn, things around you react. Yeah, I like this game. Alright, so we're gonna build this, and then we're gonna... Haha, <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Because <laughs> now this not-tamed spider is stuck to our hitching post, and they will just sit here and make silk. Hey, that's okay. I, I appreciate it all the same. I understand some of these... Some of the games I play are a little niche <laughs> so I totally understand the whole just like watching part now ideally I would want to get this spider up here too because I want to be able to like kind of walk around a little more safely between things hmm well there is this other spider that is gonna cause us problems I don't really want another spider yet So. Oh yeah, I I I get that too. One hundred percent, I absolutely get that too. All right, spider, this one is kind of doing weird shit. We're gonna we're gonna offer it some spider meat. Now this one is tamed, so we can move it without worrying about it trying to eat our ass all the time. So we'll pick up the hitching post. We'll build the hitching post, because that's kind of where I want the, uh... And then we'll hitch the spider back to it. And the reason I want these spiders here is because, I mean, they passively, like, if they're, if they're alive, they will passively sometimes drop spider silk, which you can use to make a string for crafting stuff. And just having them here doing that We'll just get it's just free stuff. It's like every noob's dream in RuneScape. Free stuff, please. <laughs> ah yes. The, the the glorious sun has desalinated all of these things in water, so that's like probably days worth of water just ready for us to drink whenever we want. And that's why I wanted to build them that way. Alright, so we are actually about to start dying of thirst so perfect time to do this well please tell me I didn't use all I think I accidentally used all of my plant roots to make a to make I used all my plant roots to make um what you call it It's a horse warm. I'm trying to be sneaky and ah piss. Well, I'll try to be sneaky and combine. Um, uh... we'll just eat these cucumbers for now. That'll get us enough. I'm basically trying to like make like medicine stuff and then we eat this poison meat that I, I can make. Yep, yep, yep. That's what that's the thing we're trying to grow here is the uh, this uh, cucumber plant. Cuz if we can get more uh, if we can get more of these uh, remarkable cucumbers, every higher grade of like for food, like every higher grade of like superior or remarkable or can give you more food but bo more bonuses when you eat things like this uh, superior fish steak can give you um, uh, an extra zero to one food 
And it looks like it can possibly even give you a hydration. Maybe. No, I, I might be reading that wrong. Let's see. It can possibly give up to three health. I don't know what the blue kind of number is next to that. Because the green number is zero to one, and there's another number next to that. Okay, yeah, never mind. I think it's a additional. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand what it's saying now. So like, you see the six there, the, like plus six, because it's a, a superior that can give you zero to one. I think something else can give it a zero to one because of skill. I don't know, but yeah, higher higher quality food can give you more stats back when you eat it. So, growing a good quality cucumber plant and having more of them propagate is in our best interests. Well, since I went ahead and did stupid shit. I did dumb, I did, I did stupid shit here and um, used all my plant roots accidentally to make string. <laughs> Cause I guess that's something you can do. We need to get some more uh, medical stuff. And one thing you can do for that is, uh, is burn sticks down into charcoal. So let's get some more sticks. I think you get like four per tree, like four per log rather. So let's, there's some logs, there's some dead trees over this way that I can do that with. Let's dismantle this. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get the stick out of that, but the twigs are nice for us starting fires, so that's fine. But yeah, um, the whole the whole benign and malign system does not stop once your 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 score gets up to sixty four grand of each, apparently. But cutting down uh, dead trees. In general, gives you less. Um, in general, gives you less m malign. Because otherwise, you have to cut through all like the other parts of the tree, like branches and leaves and shit, and that's just more malign gain. Which, I mean, you can easily just kind of get it back anyway. But, but as you see, this tree here, it um. I think I, I think eventually, if trees are sat, sit around for too long, they lose their branches and leaves and stuff, like you know, real life trees do. Anyway, we're gonna gra grab all of these logs that we just got from that tree. There's a goat down there. It gives us planks that we can dismantle into sticks. So, yeah. No, I, I miscounted. It's um. It is, it is two, it is two uh, poles per log. That's okay. Basically, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set, build a whole like kind of area of these and then light them all on fire and let them burn down to make charcoal, which you can use for either medical stuff, which is what we're gonna probably use it for immediately, or you can use it to like do like smelting kind of stuff because charcoal, you know. Okay, we're gonna have to space these out since I'm gonna wanna get between all these. What is this? Uh, fishing net. No idea how to use that. So for now, we're just gonna keep it here. <laughs> I'll move these out of the way too. Now here he's saying, why don't you just make like a chest to put all the stuff in? The answer is, I don't know if a chest would be able to hold all this stuff, so it stays on the beach for now. We also got another branch here we're gonna dismantle for for fun fun things. See I think if we were to drop these these poles on the ground and try to like um 
were to drop these poles on the ground and then light a fire on them, they just turn to ash. But if we erect them like this, they'll burn down to charcoal. Weird distinction, but you know, you know how it goes with these kind of games. There's always like weird edge cases with everything. Okay, drop all of our tree bark. <clears throat> drop all of our strip bark. We also have um. some of this stuff here. Let's drop that. We got some rot. We're going to add that to the shark fin here. It's also going to turn to rot eventually. Kind of our rot pile, I guess you'd say. <clears throat> I did want to get the uh, this charcoal stuff going sooner rather than later. So let's, uh, <clears throat> we're going to light this one on fire. We're going to Equip this one, one pole to our hand here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll ignite, our, we'll ignite that. And we'll use this pole, this one pole here. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I think I put it out. Yeah, I, I put it out accidentally. We're not going to be able to get all of the the fires lit with this one pole here, but that will significantly uh, make it a little. It'll make it a little easier on our fire starting equipment if we do do it this way. Oh, something rotted. It was the uh, the the guts. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Oh, perfect! We actually got all—we actually got all the things lit, because it had, it had ten durability, which means it has eleven durability. So I lit the first one, and then used that one to light the rest of them. <laughs> I like that. That was—that was that was, a, that was a, a wise move on my part, for once. <laughs> I, I, everyone gets one. <laughs> all right, let's put this better quality pole here in case we want to make something out of it. Oh, this, is, this counts as a fire source, so I can go ahead and cook this tainted meat, too. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> kind of just waiting around. You can hold you can hold spacebar down to kind of pass turns. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for some of the, one of these to turn to uh, charcoal. Now there is an option you can select to like make this game run in real time as opposed to turn based like this. Oh well, that actually this actually makes a pretty good amount of ash too. Didn't not, not really what I was intending to do because I mean we have a pretty decent pile of ashes already. Yeah, we're just kind of standing here waiting around. So I want one of these to become a charcoal so I can make some medicine water from when we eat this poison meat. <laughs> I'm trying to be over. Oh, okay, here's one. See, it turned into a uh, charcoal. Now, with two charcoal, we can make medicine water if we need it, which we're about to see if we need it or not. Let's see. Uh, cook tainted meat. Mmm. Okay, we didn't need it, so that's fine. We'll just hold on to the charcoal for later. All right, now we can finally drink water. I'll stop being stubborn and drink water. <laughs> Let's see, coffee's gone. Speaking of that, I'm gonna drink some water I have here. Like at work, we buy like we kind of we all kind of chip in to buy like bottles of like ice mountain kind of like water and stuff. So I usually take one home with me to drink on the way home from work because it's like a thirty 
I can cumulatively like 40 minute drive either way. So it's just nice to have something to drink. <clears throat> I don't know why I wasn't wearing a shield, my shield. That's weird. I just realized that. But yeah, these will just kind of turn to charcoal on their own now. Kind of walk around a little bit. <laughs> oh, that one's gonna take a while to finish because it was a green quality. Uh... We'll go to these piles, I only have one thing in them. Alright, that got us a decent amount of charcoal. Which means we now have 13 more things to make medicine out of. Which is nice. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world that we lost the, the offal there. Because, I mean, whenever we, whenever we kill sharks, we get offal, but we don't get bone shards. So we can um, just use the offal from that to use up these bone shards to make more glue if that is what we want to do <clears throat> uh, let's see shark steaks give six it seems like gonna be a little wasteful to uh it seems like it'd be a little wasteful to eat one of these now but let's uh We'll detach these two containers and we'll attach our other ones here. <clears throat> I kind of want to make an extra bottle that we just keep on the beach and use only for doing seawater with. Yep, we're going to do it. Let's see, five for sand. We'll run over here, crush the sand up. Run over to this pile of garbage, make a cork. <laughs> and we'll go make another bottle. All right, that, that will give us another bottle that we'll just keep on, that uh, we'll just only use for filling these back up because these two are now empty because we swapped the bottles around because we're going to go on a little bit of a adventure I'm going to drink from this drink in front and then we'll use this bottle to fill up the rest of these if you think this if, if you think that all this is t all this water management stuff is tedious um Imagine doing this, but then having to start fires for all, for every single one of these. Yeah, that's why I built these. Because <laughs> once you put water in these, you just kind of let them do their thing, and then you get water out of it. It's a lot nicer. Okay, we'll just drop that bottle. And then we've got some bottles with us. I'm tempted to turn... We'll carry two charcoal on us. So that we can... Um, We'll carry two charcoal on us so that we can make medicine if we need to. Switch grass. I don't know what to really do with that right now, so I'll just kind of put that down. Our cucumber is doing pretty well. Alright. We might have to travel a little bit to kind of see if we can find metal because we've kind of ex we've explored a fair bit actually. Oh, hello, slime. Are you just a normal slime? Okay, yeah, you're not going to be a problem, are you? Ah, whatever. Come here. Oh, you split. Oh, you split again. Well, that's three bits of slime glue. 
Oh, I'm, I'm bashing with my shield. That's why you split. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk. I was wondering why you were why it was going that way. I mean, I'm alright with that. Just be, like when they split, that just means like more. We got the milestone malevolent. Reach sixty four thousand malign. Also got a strength boost from just fighting. So. I'm just like punching these slimes. <laughs> I think since those slimes were spawned by the slime, they don't count as like being an aggressive creature. So I think that might be why I got um, some malign from beating those ones down. That's okay. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. All right, this spider will give us some. A benign back since it's very uh, just trying to kill us instead all right well that was a fun diversion we got like four bits of slime out of it, which would be four bits of glue which can use to make some of our stuff a little more durable let's see we have some tin there I was kind of wanting to scope out like this our mountain here see what we have in our mountain I know in our in our our kind of like crafting room down there where we were making all that glass there's some coal in the wall but I don't know what else there is unfortunately oh there's something there let's let's go up and take a look at that that might be that might be worth something another slime it looks like we're gonna leave it alone because well whatever okay this cucumber can get moved out of the way now that it's uh, ripe I've been avoiding this area because, like, I mean, all this stuff has been growing. Because when you plant stuff in these fertile soil, it spreads, and there was some lettuce here, and it's just been spreading everywhere, <laughs> as you can see. I might move some of this uh, fertile soil back to base and just hold on to it. Because if we just dig it up, it's just, we have normal soil there. I think I will, like, um, make some more, uh, plant another cucumber here. Just because they're nice to have. Cucumbers are just very good plants to have just growing on mass. Like, in the event that we just need food, we can just come down here and grab some. So. We could probably make better use of this fertile soil. Rich in nutrient dense soil, suitable for growing all plants for maximum fertility and speed. Because aside from the spreading part, I think they just makes you, you grow shit faster anyway. So, we're, we're, so we'll just take some of this with us and we'll repl we'll replant some of the stuff that was here. Like, I'll plant this carrot back here. I don't really have any thing against it, necessarily. I don't need the cucumbers at this very second, so we're going to turn them back to seeds, too. Unfortunately for cucumbers, like, to get the seeds, you have to dismantle them. You can't just eat them, like, with apples, so... It's a little, uh... It's one of the reasons why apples are so nifty even though they don't give a lot of a lot of stats back is just you can eat them and plant them but for most other things you either get seeds from when you're harvesting them or you have to turn them into seeds like cucumbers you have to get the seeds out as opposed to eating them let's see that is talcum which is something we're gonna need for metalworking but it's not the metal itself so it's gonna be found that though All right, let's see. Keep this container open just because 
yeah. I have this little bag here I carry around all my like fire starting stuff with. Just because it's easy to do that for me. That way like I just have I can start fires anywhere and everywhere. What are you doing, rabbit? Oh, that's what you're doing. You You ate some stuff off the ground and you got tamed. Well, alright, cool. Enjoy, I guess. <laughs> we have a little bunny friend. Not necessarily what I had intended, but, you know. Yeah, I should probably just pick this stuff up. Granted, it's not really a big loss that it just decided to eat some seeds. I don't know if rabbits really do anything other than give you droppings, which you can use to make compost, which is cool, I guess, but otherwise, there's not really a good reason to have a rabbit. I mean, it's cute, which I guess is a good enough reason, but that doesn't always amount to, to all that much on the island, <laughs> per se. Not tangibly, at least. It's it, it it's one of those intangible kind of deals. And that is also the downside of having stuff like plant roots and stuff laying around on the ground, is if something comes along and it's something that, it, that a creature would want to eat, it will eat it. And be t become tamed or whatever. Which does make me kind of want to make a box on the beach now that we mention it. <laughs> like, it, it would take a rabbit eating shit that I don't want it to eat to m make me want to, you know. Uh, we're gonna. Leave this rabbit some more, like, away. Like, we'll lead it over here, and then we'll, like, dis- we'll, um, we'll release it, and then it should, uh, run off, but we'll, we'll kind of scare it away. Come on. Come on. Whatever. Just stay up there. <laughs> it's being all scared and shit now, and it's like, whatever. Oh, that cucumber is in the budding stage, which means soon it will be ripe and it should start spreading, hopefully. If not, it's not the end of the world, really. <clears throat> if it doesn't really, if it doesn't spread, that's fine because we'll be able to get cucumbers from that plant, and those cucumbers are probably going to be remarkable quality themselves, so we can spread that way. That's how you. That's how you do it if you don't have uh, fertile soil. But for but luckily for us, we found that. Why did I drop that? We luckily for us, we found that that POI down there that has all that fertile soil, so we can just do that like immediately. Like we don't have to do any sort of waiting around to like try to like. gamify stuff to um, not really gamify but you, I don't know what I'm saying basically we don't have to make fertile soil ourselves which we can do it's just a little it's a little more involved than just like digging up some dirt and some, I mean basically you dig up some dirt you make some compost and you mix compost ash and dirt and then you make your fertile soil but if you can just get it for free you might as well anyway it's night. It's nighty time. Can we cook this carrot? I think we need like a bowl or something to cook. I know there's some. I know there's definitely ways to cook vegetables in this game. I just. I know there's like cooking stuff in general, but like. I might not, I just might not have done anything with that yet, so we're just gonna eat this carrot. Mmm, carrot. It made me thirsty. I was thirsty already. <laughs> I'm always thirsty. <laughs> I mean, I'm a plant, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, we are going to sleep. 
And we're gonna head further afield after we get our stats figured out. My earthworm has decayed. Oh no, earthworm. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. Oh, there's a rat. Look at its big ass. Cook those. <laughs> Vegetables. Well, rat's dead. Thanks. Hey, the rat the rat came on to me, all right? I didn't I didn't want to kill it. It just was kind of there. It, it forced the issue, so to speak. All right, let's uh we can now make some glue out of like all this garbage that we picked up from the slimes. And that rat just now cuz uh I just used some clean water for that. That's annoying. Whatever. Well, that means we're going to make this uh, tainted meat first and try to eat it. Okay, so now we can drink our water. And now I don't got to worry about any stinking... Any stinking entrees. The nice thing about those slimes is that whenever each of these uh, gelatins you can use to make glue, it's the same process of doing the uh, vegetable. Uh, not vegetable. I read. I read you saying vegetables, and my brain's like, "Oh, vegetables!" <laughs> it's the same process as what we're doing with the rat uh, brains and bones. Is using, uh, cooking that down to make glue. Except you don't need bones or brains. You just need the slime gelatin. And uh, reinforce two versus. I mean, it looks it looks like the slime glue is a better reinforcement agent than the animal glue is. So I think that what that means is when you reinforce something, it gets more durability. Uh, is there something in particular we're gonna reinforce? I that I want to. I keep thinking there was, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I I do see we got our fish steaks here with some pretty low durability. So we're gonna eat that too this other fish take steak may not survive the survive for long but uh let's see pickaxe is 136 let's uh reinforce that with hmm Yeah, I figured might as well, no real reason not to reinforce the pick our pickaxe here. Uh, let's see what else. Spears looking pretty good. Hammers are all right. Knife is still very nice. That's fine. That's fine. Any other tools? Our axe is tip top shape. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I think I can think of something. Oh, what's what's this pile? Water skins. What? Why do I have water skins and pemmican on the ground? I mean, I'm fine with the water skins being on the ground. We can just can keep those back up. But like, why is there just pemmican laying on the ground? I mean, it's not gonna decay, but that's not the point. The point is, why is it there? <laughs> There's another, why is there just water? I think I probably just threw them on the ground without really caring. Which sounds like me, honestly. All right, what do we have in here? We have some uh, clay blow pipes. They were kind of annoying to make, so maybe I should uh, take one of them and uh, reinforce it specifically to make it, make like the most powerful clay blow pipe in existence. All right, that one's got 80. Let's see how much it goes up to. I don't really mind using all this glue on it. Uh, 
Okay, we have to light a we have to light our kiln before we can try repairing it. That's okay. All right, now that cl that blowpipe is pretty uh, strong, and we'll put it at the back because these ones, these other ones that I made previously, will be used up before this one when we are making stuff that needs a blowpipe. Oh, uh, brain. All right, as you can see, there's some coal down here. We will keep that in mind. Uh, eat that worm. Mm. Rabbit, I thought I told you to get away from here. Let's see, purified water, we'll grab some. We're gonna go on, try to go on an adventure again. Before that, we need to um, refuel our. Um, refuel our water here. We don't really need to since we have all the other ones that have water in them, but I it's just habit. Alright, so now we got we've got water. We're nice and full. We got this this shark this fish steak that we can eat if it comes to it. It probably won't, but that's okay. How's our cucumber doing? It is still budding. And thankfully that shit ass rabbit can't go and um eat it. Because it absolutely would. And that's why we have the, the fences. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head down the coast this way. Cause there's other, there's other mountainy areas that are not my home that I wanna kinda investigate for other because previously I was probably looking for limestone, so I didn't really take into account any other shit. There's some more talc there. That's pretty good. Because I, I looked, I was looking around for a while for uh, limestone. I also look, had to look for clay at some point too. There's some tin. That's the talc, I think, as well. Yeah. So I don't know if I really fully explored this area. Some more tin. I'm pretty sure you can't do anything with just tin alone. I think you can with copper, but not, cause, yeah. Although, I, although I think historically in real life, uh, people did make, do stuff with only uh, tin, but tin was tin's also really rare compared to like copper. I think. Ah, okay. This is where I got some of my door, my my first two doors from, cause there's this like just this empty cabin. I think I also nabbed a wall or two from there. I wouldn't be surprised if they moved iron to be only underground. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I've seen any yet. Well, there's nothing else over here, so let's kind of explore a little more to the east. Oh, well, unfortunately the, the shark steak that we had has no longer among us. Kind of just exploring around now because this is uncharted territory. Anything interesting here? A maple tree with green seeds. Not worthless, so let's, let's, let's grab the seeds. Because if you plant a, um, a green seed, you get a green tree, which can give you itself quality seeds or sometimes better. 
depending on your skills. Clematis. I think that's for making fiber, but we've got spiders for that, so we don't really need that. <laughs> What's that? Oh! That's our first aberrant. Well, maybe one of the first. The creature seems abnormally territorial and aggressive, and it may be particularly vicious. Well, sometimes the game just throws aber like aberrant versions of creatures at you. Especially if your stuff is lower. I think it might be because our malign is a little higher than zero. Come here, rabbit. Come, come on. It's a rabbit. It's still a fucking rabbit, so, you know, whatever. They also gave us an, a burst of a benign for defending ourselves from a hostile creature. Neat. Rabbits give us raw meat instead of like tainted meat, so that's actually a really good. Their rabbits do give good food, but killing a rabbit um, gives you a pretty big spike in uh, malign because I mean they're innocent creatures generally, so you know the deal. Yada yada yada. All right, anything cool on this rock face? Doesn't really look like it. There's some tin there, but again, I have a feeling that they might have moved iron underground. That's kind of that's kind of cool that we had a um, aberrant show up. I've been fearing that we'd get some aberrants, like for the entirety of this fucking playthrough. Oh, there's purple grass. I don't know what that even mean. Like what that would even do for us if we had purple grass growing. Well, it's not blue grass. It's purple grass. What is shallow swamp water? I don't know if I've ran into that before. I'd imagine you have to bo you would have to boil that to be able to use it for anything. Yep, just kind of exploring around. Fiddle dee, fiddle do. We live over there. Was that a snake? No, it's a rat. Oh, shit. Alright, let's keep exploring. So, we got plenty of daylight left. As the day goes along, the radius of light that you can see, like the fog of war or whatever, will expand as it hits as it goes to midday and then it'll start to sl uh, slowly contract as it becomes nighttime oh we i mean we can do some swimming all right what do we have over here Let's eat some apples. Which will help help us not have to drink as much water, although we're probably gonna drink water anyway, because we want to uh, make some glue out of this stuff here before it goes south. So we'll drink one of these waters anyway. Okay, we'll gather seawater. Start a beach fire. <laughs> Make some, make some glue. We'll cook this uh, meat here. Uh, how much? Nah, uh, we'll cook the spider meat too. Might as well.
Like in, ge like, in general, I should be able to survive out in, like, just the wilderness without much, without need of shelter, because most of the creatures that come out at night when your difficulty is not too high are, like, the rats and spiders. They're very easy to handle. Hmm. What did I, did I find more limestone over here, maybe? I, that's the only thing I really, reason I could see why I came over here, and yeah, I definitely got some limestone over here, it seems like. But yeah, like, we could just, like, go to, we could, like, start a fire, and then, like, go to sleep next to it without much, many problems. So, in the spirit of that, let's grab this, uh, liquid. Oh, there's more limestone. I don't really don't really care for that right now, but that's nice that there's still some more over here. Some more swamp water. Yeah, it's starting to get a little dark. Ooh, more apples. Kind of tempted to just kind of plant some of these apples around, because then if everywhere I go, there'll just be apples. <laughs> It's kind of like Johnny Appleseed, but probably not based off of some weird folk tale bullshit. It'd be me. I did the apple seeding. I'm Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna plant these here, cause yeah, it gives us more. It gives us more benign to plant the apple seeds. Anyway, what's this? Oh, that's a. An apple tree that's a little uh, worse for wear. It's a little dark. Perhaps I should make a, an actual campsite over this side of the world too. Like in the mountains or something. Oh, I heard the sound of probably a, probably a giant rat somewhere. I was just kind of coming back over because I remember there being some stones. We're going to make a campfire. Don't worry, that, uh, well, let's uh, purify this water. Don't you worry, that rat will find us, I promise you. So we're gonna just sleep on the ground. And that rat will find us soon enough if... Hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. <clears throat> and now let's go back to sleep. We might get another rat, we might not. Alright, well we got a bunch of rotten stuff from... Ah, that was probably from the, um, the rabbit or something, I can't remember, but... But what we can do with this rotten stuff is we could actually turn it into um, compost. How much is this weigh? Compost is like pretty lightweight, honestly, so it's not even that not that bad. All right, so let's eat this uh, rabbit, basically rabbit steak. 
Mmm, yummy. We'll drink some more. We'll, we'll drink both of our waters. Actually, no, we'll hold on to that water and we'll just eat some apples. These apples give hunger and thirst, which is... Another good thing about apples is that they just, they just have a really long shelf life, too. Which I think is just kind of... They kind of do in real life as well, so it's like not too far out of line. All right, and we'll, we'll plant these other apple seeds just in the area, I guess. No reason not to. Oh, hey, there's another rat. And there's a goat. Because maybe at some point I'll come back through this area and need the apples, and then there'll just be like 10 apple trees all over the place. All right, rat. Perish. In this case, we're gonna we're gonna cook the giblets and the tainted meat and see one tainted meat is like eight hunger. The giblets are actually four, which is more than I expected them to be. It might be because they're remarkable, but yeah, like that's like twelve, and then we can turn down to like not twelve. We can turn down to I don't know how much Pepperick gives, but it's fine because we can just carry it with us. Oh, there's another one. Someone really wants to get turned into pemmican, don't they? Who's a good pemmican? You're a good pemmican! <laughs> God. Oh, my fire went out. I was like, uh oh. Alright, well, that's two pe Each rat can become one piece of pemmican. <laughs> All right, I might as well grab this uh, water that's over here. Since we can use our fire, our fire's dying gasps of uh, of, inner of life to purify the water. And now we can pretty much explore for another whole day, basically, because we just kind of lived off the land a little bit. <clears throat> So off we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Onward. Ooh, pineapple, huh? I'll take that. I'm like 99 percent sure I would have to um, dismantle that to get seeds. But pineapples are one of the are one of the crops that can grow on sand, so that gives you something else you can use the real estate for. So we'll hold on to that pineapple. Something else you can grow on sand that's very worth your time are uh, coconut coconut trees. But I have yet to find any of those. Ooh, speaking of which, how about you? Uh, Come here, little slime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much obliged. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I've even seen copper yet on the surface. I could be getting unlucky, and maybe it's just much rarer than it used to be, but. Yeah, these like rocky mountain formations are where you get your metals from. And I might be getting unlucky, or maybe they're just deeper in the mountain somewhere, or maybe they just don't exist on the surface anymore. It's kind of, the jury's out, kind of, because this game has got so many patches since I last played it that I don't even know <laughs> if it's still like. You know, like, if this, things are still in the same places. Some switchgrass. <laughs> Nintendo switchgrass. There's a tomato. A 
OBS, I don't know why you are having over overloading issues on this game of all fucking games. Whatever. Maybe the maybe OBS is running too fast, and then like it like trips over its feet and like falls over and dies. I don't fucking know. No idea why it would have problems with this game when it doesn't have problems with the rise. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Whatever. Um. Uh, yeah, we're just we're just going on a little trip, looking for metal. I am starting to think that it probably is just going to be underground, as opposed to being on the surface anymore. It does give you a very compelling reason to go underground if you want better gear. Is to get the metal, but then you have to survive with, like, the ghost pirates and other monstrosities that live in the caves. Which ain't exactly what I want to deal with quite yet, because I don't think our gear is quite good enough for that. Ooh, what do we have here? More coal? Hmm. That makes me hopeful that maybe there is still iron on the surface and I'm just unlucky. There's more talc. didn't really mean to do that. I kind of ran into the wall without thinking about it. Right, this backpack doesn't have anything in it, so we're going to just start heaving random garbage in it that I have that I want to hold on to. this many uh, animal claws so we're probably gonna drop those on the floor right here just cuz whatever we'll keep one cuz I think having one on us at all times is probably a good idea cuz you can use it as a needle if need be You see, like, the, the grouping's needle one. You can use that as a needle to make, like, like, lock picks. Granted, you still need good enough, you know, stats to do anything with a lock pick, but... Oh, hello. Oh, you're just a normal spider, whatever. Thanks for all the spider meat. <laughs> I was gonna say thanks for the fish, but you're not. That's not exactly a fish. Although you can use spider meat as bait to, to try to catch fish, so maybe I could say thanks for all the fish. Well, there's a little bit of fresh water here if we need some. Which I mean, we're about to. Um, Yeah, I, I had a feeling we're gonna have to dismantle the, that pineapple if we wanted seeds from it. So we're yeah, we're gonna um, yeah, <laughs> just dismantle it now so don't actually eat the pineapple, and then we won't have pineapples anymore. So let's see. Let's drink the water. Pick up the water. And let's. What is this? Is this talc? Talky Fibrax? Alright. 
Well, let's start a fire. Purify the water. And let's try to sleep. And, um, see who shows up. It's probably just gonna be another rat. Or a spider or something. Another chow today. Oh, do you mean chai? <laughs> I was like, Chow, wait, are you playing Sonic? <laughs> uh oh. You type Chow you type you've typed Chow once and now your your phone or whatever is just like, you know what? That's what you mean every time. Obviously, right? All right, looks like we slept for four hours. It's still pretty dark out, but as you can see, like we can see a little bit more. So we're just gonna stay up and keep searching because this is like early morning. I've got a feeling that if we're gonna if we want to find any sort of actual metal, we're gonna have to go underground. Oh, actually, this is a really nice find. These beggar ticks here are a plant that can be um you can harvest them. You can harvest them for you get beggar ticks from them which are a medicinal item or you can eat them if you really need the food but I figure let's eat one just to see what it does I mean it's not great but if you got nothing else to eat then chai tea no 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 chow tea made it's, you, you, you take one of the little chow creatures you just throw it in a pot of water and you boil it and I guess that's what you get Please don't do that. Chow are precious little critters. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of precious little critter, hi Bubba. He, he just walks in here and just starts yelling really loud. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Did you get did you get done sleeping on the cat tree? Now you want to make make it my problem. Hi puppy, oh look at you, you little fluffy bastard. Spooky fluffy men. All right, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's looking more and more like they moved most of the most of the metal stuff underground so, like probably they probably moved copper and uh, I would imagine they moved copper and um, iron underground so we might grab this coal and then just head home Drop all the rocks and try to just stuff as much coal in my bag here as I can. <sighs> oh, I see a spider! I see that big ass! The advantage of these backpacks like this is that they reduce your the weight of things in them by like half. So you can carry just that much more stuff home with you. Alright, spider. Come here. You've yeed your last haw. <laughs> and we're like one-shotting spiders with a weapon that they're resistant to. So yeah, spiders are just kind of weak sauce. All right, let's continue to drop these rocks. And then 
stones. We're only interested in the, bringing the coal back with us. As it as it is though, there are some coal in the walls of our our one of our uh, crafting rooms. So we have some coal already, but just no reason not to get this. It'd be silly to just leave it here. I was surprised we haven't gotten a strength gain from all this uh, mining we did. Right, let's see, coal. Let's look at your tags here. Stoke fire plus 300, carbon 2, and fuel. I imagine that charcoal is carbon 1, since you can just kind of make it en masse if you have the means to do so. Uh, let's see, I think there was some talc up here. We might try to grab some of that, too, if we can fit it. <clears throat> Alright, there wasn't much of anything, really, there. <clears throat> Alright, move to backpack. Alright, cool. Alright, let's start heading back home. Let's try to, like, explore some Uncharted territory on the way back, but... We're mainly trying to get back to our base now. Oh, we got some apples. Let's. Your metabolism has slowed. You require less food and water. Nice. You love to see it. All right. Do I have any foods on us that we need to eat before? The apples? The answer is, looks like to be no, so we're gonna eat apples. Which those apples restored five of our thirst and more hunger, so we'll just see if we can get to this area, we'll like replant some more apples. <clears throat> Cause I'm not gonna plant them near my house, but if they're just kind of like out in the wild, then Can we fit these logs in our bag? We can, but that doesn't, doesn't really look like it's gonna make. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kirk Curl is carbon one. It's also a bit lighter than normal coal is. Uh, let's see, bones, let's move all bone fragments in the backpack. We're, we're really trying to scrape through the, um, the durability here. Not durability, a uh, weight. <clears throat> Move all spider mate. Yeah. Ha ba ba. He likes playing fetch with this little fox toy that he has. Stinky little man. Stinky little man. Alright, so we got the apples. Our only problem is that <laughs> we're like way overburdened with stuff. Because I'm being greedy and trying to just carry everything ever. I actually don't need the pickaxe in our inventory here, so that would, oh, should actually save a good bit of weight. Because we're not we're not equipping the pickaxe, we're just using it as a tool. Oh yeah, that, that, that saves us some weight, so we can have the apples in our ba main bag, probably. Alright, cool. I don't, I, don't, can't, I don't know how I didn't notice that. Hmm. 
He's a little, he's my little man. I love, I love, I love this cat a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have to go this way. I guess we're gonna plant, just plant the apple seeds here. The way he scampers is pretty funny. Like if he's just being a little bit of, of, of a nuisance, he'll like scamper around the house. Ah, Bubba. Is my nose delicious? Is it? I was trying to spook him and scare him away. Trying to make him, trying to make him terrified. All right, what have a branch? We can just leave this branch here. I don't really care for it. All right, so we got some apples for the road. Can we take a peek down here, maybe? We could. But again, I don't know if I'm super prepared for anything that's below the earth. <laughs> Seems a little um, scary. I don't know if I, it's been many patches since I've played this game. So I don't know if they've done anything to make the stuff below ground even harder than what it used to be. So a little apprehensive. Just a little. Ooh, there's a bit of, a bit of a rocky area up here. Let's see. If perhaps there is some metal to be found, or at least something. If, if there is, maybe I could come back to this place. I thought I saw. Oh, it's a rabbit. I, was like, I thought I saw something moving over there. I'm gonna make sure this is all purified water that I have here. Desalinated and purified. Okay, let's. Okay, let's drink this water. Mmm, 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 tasty. And we'll grab this groundwater, cause yeah, might as well. And we'll continue grabbing apples, cause they are a pretty ideal travel food. They give you thirst back. Uh, they don't weigh too much, and they have a pretty long shelf. Like, the, like that is like eight thousand turns. Which is pretty high for most foods. Cucumbers are also pretty good. They're even better at stats than apples are, but they have a much less shelf life to them, so. Ooh, what do we have here? Talc? There's some coal as well. This is a pretty big mountain range, it looks like. Uh, some more talc. Alright, no. Doesn't look like there's gonna be anything else there. Let's kind of investigate the rest of the mountain area for any goodies. Frankly, surprised there's with the amount of stuff that's not in my mountain area, cause or my base is, cause it's pretty big. Maybe there'll be more stuff inside the mountain once I kind of just dig into it. Alright, uh. I might see something. 
let's just make sure. Let's see. Nope, never mind. Nothing there. There's a little bit of coal there, but I don't have the bag space. Spank in his booty. He likes it, but he's very sensitive, so he just kind of yells. <laughs> Alright, let's see. More talc. There's some tin. I wonder if they change the progression to where, like, you have to start with, like, copper and tin, or maybe I'm just not finding the right stuff. I, I don't really know the answer. <laughs> Because it used to be, like, in the earlier, earlier days, like, they just had iron, and, like, you, you basically jump from, like, using, like, wood and, like, leather armor up to iron, and I think they added scale, like, scale armor that you can have. And at some point, they added copper. Which was not as good as, well, not as good as iron and took more work, it seemed like. So, I think there's been a lot of balancing and changes to, like, the metal system over the patches. And I've not been here for two min for quite a few of those patches, so I don't, I don't know if, like, they, like, again, I don't know if they moved stuff underground entirely or what. Because I've only seen, so far I've only seen tin, coal, talc, and limestone above ground. So my, my, my guess would be they moved it underground to kind of make progression a little less easy. Which I guess makes sense because metal stuff is significantly better than like stone or whatever. So it's, it's probably worth the risk. Well, this would be a nice little base right here. It's already like a little cavity. Reminds me of the freaking Bill Ward's History of the World, I guess. There's a blanket! <laughs> oh, hello, slime. You wanna... You wanna give me some... Some goodies? You wanna give me some glue? Yes, you do! Thank you. Alright. Just, just trying to explore some... Some more territory on my way back. Although we're covering a lot of the same ground that we came from, but not all of the same ground. Ooh, apples. Mmm, I got to eat one of these apples, aren't I? Oh no! Ooh, we have a green apple. Let's eat a few apples. They'll save some weight, because seeds weigh a lot less more than the apples do. Okay, our, our hunger's full, so it'd be a waste to eat any more apples. <laughs> but there's even more apples! Daggummit. And these apples aren't like super great food, but they're definitely it's definitely better than like nothing. There we go. Now we can travel. I'm guessing over this way is where our base is. That is a problem of setting up base on like one of the far shores, it seems like. Cause I'm, I'm guessing that's probably where we are map-wise. We're probably like pretty far west. Just by, by coincidence. So traveling anywhere tends to just take a long time. Get some 
swimming in. I think this is a little north of where our base might be, so let's kind of head down. Zoomed out a little just so I can kind of see more area. Uh, okay, yeah, I think it's like to the west of here is where our... What I'm curious about is are any sharks in this basically like... This is basically like a, a landlock, uh, inland sea. Are there any sharks in here? If there were, they probably would have already started coming after us. So probably not. We'll just take, we'll just go for a, a merry swim. Uh, swimming. Increases speed and water travel to keep, change the stamina reduction. At high school, allows co combating the tides to travel to other islands. Interesting. So it does seem like raising your, your swimming skill is worthwhile. But it does take stamina and hunger, so it's kind of like a thing of like, it's kind of a thing you do when you don't need to worry about surviving. Alright, so we have found our little base. These spiders have been just shitting, farting some more silk out. Good, good for them. Snake has yet to, um... Let's, let's try to tame this. We'll use this spider meat we have to kind of, uh, tame the snake, because tame critters tend to drop more stuff. Hell yeah, chai, delicious. I'm finishing off one of these Eggos I made for breakfast. Finished my coffee earlier. Get the remains of this water bowl here, and I have a can of peace tea, but I'm kind of saving that for my next stream, which will be after, at 11, we'll be pausing to eat my lunch, because me and my roommate have, are eating leftovers for lunch today. So the time between this stream and the next one will be pretty short, because I'm just going to be basically eating and getting stream stuff ready, and then... We'll start again with uh, Shadows Over Loathing. Let's see. Okay, so this one spread, but it only made a normal cucumber plant, so that's kind of a waste of time. So we're gonna just rip it up and... Yep, just get rid of it. So we will harvest both these cucumbers. We both go. Oh, we, all, we got one superior cucumber. Or remark. We got a superior and a remarkable. So we're gonna turn the we're gonna turn the remarkable to seeds. And it didn't give me the seeds I wanted. That's unfortunate. Well, we might have to keep this uh, cucumber plant here until it produces more fruit, which it's budding, so it won't take nearly as much time. Uh, can we, do I get, okay, I did get some, at least, green seeds from this one, so we'll, at the very least, we'll start propagating more cucumbers in places I want them to be. So, six, we'll just kind of plant you there. Enjoy. And we'll let this one regrow until we can get more uh, remarkable cucumbers with more remarkable seeds and all that funness, fun stuff. Continue to just eat apples. <laughs> Keep our hunger up and get us some more hunger. Let's not charcoal. I need to move the coal to all the coal to this chest. Cause we had a fair amount of coal from our little adventure. We had some apples as well. Some 
talc. Not much talc, but I think there's some more nearby in the mountain. In our mountain here that we can get. Some logs we can use. Some spider meat. And some buttons. So let's organize our, our stuff. Move the apples near the top here so I can see. It might be worth our while making a, a food only chest. Because right now this thing is containing mostly seeds and some other stuff. As you see, we have a fair about it. Fair amount of apple seeds that we're just never gonna probably use, and we're gonna keep adding to that. Cause whatever. Okay, pemmican. Pemmican. I guess we can put the the fat in here, and then we've got some pineapple seeds, which I do want to plant somewhere. Perhaps you can put that in fertile soil and have it spread. So let's grab one of these fertile soils. So I have a feeling that the fertile soil you have placed down can also determine things. But anyway, we're gonna put this fertile soil down here. Actually, no, we'll, we'll put some here. And then we'll try to see if we can plant that uh, pineapple seed here. So we plant that here on this fertile soil, it'll be able to spread to all the sand tiles around it because they can grow on sand. So hopefully that'll help propagate us some more pineapples. No real reason other than it's just more stuff we can eat, <laughs> which is just kind of kind of cool, I guess. It's not always fun having to eat the same stuff all the time. Unpurified water. Okay, we'll deal with that. Let's put these logs here. Uh, beggar ticks. We probably want to plant those too. In a similar manner to this, we'll probably want to plant it and let it spread because... Beggar ticks are just nice to have. We might also want to just make our garden area a little bigger when the chance comes. Because gardening is a pretty big part of this game if you want to have sustainable food. So I guess in that case, let's get this sand out of the way. Because we don't want to cover the sand up. Because sand is useful. We need like we need like four more fence posts. Another thing my cat does, which is hurt him nose, he likes taking food out of the food bowl and eating it individually, like a little weirdo. He just, just, he's just a little weird guy. Don't know how I ended up with a cat like that, like this, but you, sometimes, sometimes it just happens and you just get a weirdo cat. I mean, I think all cats are just a little weird. Yeah, we definitely don't want this rabbit getting in here and eating our, our cucumbers. It's very unlikely that this beggar tick would spread to more than like one spot any like all eight spots anyway, so we're just gonna plant it here. Where was it? Where's that seed? Do I have it with me still? I thought it maybe it's in the other bag that I just closed. Uh yeah, it's right here. Okay, so now we have beggar ticks that are gonna be propagated, which is nice. 
Uh, let's drop all bone fragments. We got seeds, we got medical stuff. He's just in the living room yowling to himself for no discernible reason. <laughs> He's a very vocal cat. Like me and my roommate pre is in up until like October of last year had a older cat. Like my roommate had had him for like 12 or so years. And He's, he, was, he was not super vocal, but he was vocal enough, like, like if you wanted your attention, he'd meow at you and, you know, that kind of stuff, but my cat is vocal. <laughs> okay, so we got charcoal, we can... We probably need to do more storage. Because as fun as this is just having stuff in piles on the ground, it makes it a little annoying if there's like if you got stuff like flowers or whatever that animals will uh, eat so we're gonna maybe consolidate some of these piles of rocks into other piles of rocks I can see you in there just standing there He's just staring at me now. <laughs> He's like, I've been found out. You caught me yodeling. <laughs> Man, we'll kind of tidy up a little bit. About as much as you can really do with like a billion piles of rocks on the floor. We'll make it like only like three big piles <laughs> as opposed to like ten big piles. Oh, that, pi that pile is actually full. What about this pile? You got any more room? Surprisingly, yes. I wouldn't think so, but it's... I'll start adding to this pile, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, there's so many rocks, I wouldn't... I don't think I'll ever use up all of these rocks for anything. There's just too many. But I will at the very least try to consolidate these piles. this. Oh, I must have found some tin ore at some point. Interesting. Alright, that pile, that pile is full, full on weight. Because each, like, each spot tile on the floor has, like, a maximum weight value, I guess. So you can't just endlessly stack stuff in one spot. Which is fair. That would be a little overpowered if you could. That being said, we can keep all this uh, tin or separated. It looks different at least. Alright, we'll drop as much as we can here. Looks like this pile is probably full. So let's, uh, let's continue adding to that. For the sake of just being thorough, I will separate the green quality, uh, sharp granites if possible. 
because those are used to make tools or whatever. at the discord chat for me and my uh, runescape pals they they were doing um, they pulled a really good drop and but there was like a rollback so they were when they were worried that like the uh, drop that they got got canceled out but nope they kept it which is nice must not have been far enough back and I'm just trying to figure out like what caused the rollback I mean I didn't play it yesterday so it didn't really matter but I'm just like hmm I wonder what caused it. Why is it? Don't close that. I need that. I want that open. Uh, let's see. Spider silk. What are you doing in there? That's not where you go. Oh, there's our, clo our initial clothes that we washed on shore with. They're just laying on the floor over here. Yeah, I'm just... I might as well just do this kind of stuff while there's not much time left in the stream. Just gonna try to clean up the floor a little bit. Now, I could just dump all the stuff like in the ocean if I really needed to get rid of it, but there may come a day where I uh, need a bunch of rocks for something. And I would prefer to have them, you know. What is here? Some sharp grain and other garbage. Into the pile you go. Form the endless pile of spider silk. As though there's like more there. Like another like five, another like ten or so spider silk. For literally doing nothing. Okay, that spider is no longer tamed, but it seems like it's a little occupied, so we're gonna. This one's a little less uh giant silk. Spider has hit you for one name. Drummer appeared to be vulnerable. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll take a hit to get, like, I'll take a hit or two so I can get all that silk. Alright, so now we've got, like, 27 spider silk. All, mo most, if not all of it, from just doing nothing. Like, we didn't have to do anything to get that. So it's kind of nice. Okay, plants are doing all right. Those are that's growing. It's fine. Let's see. We still got some some slime we can do stuff with. So we'll make some glue out of that. So let's start the fire. Purify our water. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a sip of purified water, and with that same bottle, grab some seawater and start making our uh, slime glue. And with that, let's see what are we gonna what are we gonna reinforce? Well, let's see. Belt's doing all right. Scale vest is doing great. 
bark leggings are a little worse for wear, so let's uh, repair. And for now, we're gonna reinforce some them a little bit. Uh, wood shields got plenty of durability. Let's see, boots are fine. Mittens are fine. Gorget's fine. Cap's fine. Uh, axe has still got plenty of durability, but I use it so much that I might go ahead and just uh, reinforce it again anyway. And then repair. And now we got back up to like 480 durability, which is a lot. <clears throat> Spider meat still. I've got the stuff to sort through. <clears throat> the name of the game next stream might be to try to get like a raft or something so we can travel this way. I don't think I don't think maps are loop around anymore like they used to in the old days. So like if I tra travel to the edge of this map, it'll ask me if I want to like travel to another like map. Which I think will then make it generate another map of maybe a different kind with different resources around. Like maybe it'd give us like an ice map or a snow place or something like that. No, I'm just trying to, you know what? Let's make, an, let's make another damn uh, chest. I'm sitting here just like shuffling things around <laughs> this uh, one chest and I could just make another chest to sort keep all of our food in. Instead of having like one for food and like seeds and crap like that. Um, I think I need planks and dowels. So this is mantle you for the dowels or dowel. Because we would have given us two. Oh, it's, it did give me two. It, it just gave me one of them that's not just normal. So I was like, wait, what? I was confused. I'm very easily confused. <laughs> uh, let me look at my discards. to you and that could have swore we needed a, a lot of planks for a chest a copper chest I need six okay well nothing to do but do it And then we can drop the rest of this. So the cool thing about making these chests is that it gets us like a bunch of tree bark that we can use for making other things. Like you can you can dismantle a tree bark into string and basically turn each of these barks into one string. So we have lots of ways to get string. Not even factoring in that we got all this spider soap that's directly turnable into string. Alright, what do we have here? We got you, we're gonna pick you up and we'll just kinda put you over here I guess I don't really know what to do with that and we'll move these dowels or this dowel to our little uh, other little chest this not chest uh, thing the thing with the stuff all right now we can place this chest down and this will be our food uh, chest uh, Food storage. <laughs> all right, in that case, let's grab out all of our stuff that resembles food. And some of it that probably doesn't, like. Uh, 
Like for now, we'll keep the, uh, nah, we'll, we'll just leave those on the floor somewhere. It's not like I haven't been doing that before anyway. Kind of like over here, we'll keep the, uh, the bark and that stuff there. Bark tunic or whatever. And in this chest, we can start storing all of our food. Including, uh, including these, be including these beggar ticks, since they can be eaten, but they are also medical stuff. So, eventually, we'll probably transition over to having mostly beggar ticks for medical stuff, because they don't like decay, and they can be used as a medical item or eaten if it really comes to it. Like, they're not good food, but they are, in fact, food. Yeah, just, just drink, it's fine. My, my cat also starts yelling when he's going to go drinking. Maybe it's his way of saying, I'm, I'm drinking water. He's high, he's hydrating. Put these apples and add them our, our new food chest. That means that we already have a lot of apple trees planted that... Like, we have a bunch of them I just kind of planted down here for the sake of just planting some apples and... Well, we can absolutely grab them. Because each of these apple trees gives three apples every harvest. As you can see, we, we have a, we're going to have a lot of apples. Can I help you? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, my woo? Hold your horses, bud. I'll probably give him some atten some direct attention after I end stream in a sec. I just want to kind of tidy some stuff up here and then all right and then we can put all these apples in our food storage and they will last they'll I think they last even longer I think they last like 20% longer in storage so they'll last like an extra like 1400 turns or something so they're, they're, they'll last a while Yeah, we got sort by name. All right, cool. So, all right, that's a good spot to stop. We got what well, we we got. Well, we searched for metal. We didn't really find any, but I'm guessing that's because we have to go underground for metal. So, next stream we'll probably start trying to prepare to do that. <sighs> But yeah, for now I'm gonna end my stream after we make sure it's saved and we'll close the game. Okay, cool. All right, so that is where I'm ending this stream. There will be at least one more stream today. I plan to do two more streams today, but at the very least this is the end of this stream. So, uh, let's see if I can drop a raid on someone real fast. Let's see who's online. Let's see. Mm, who's that? I don't know. Um, doesn't look good. There's really too many people online. I feel like raiding, so I'm gonna end this stream here. And either 11:30 or 12, which right now it's 11:05 here. So either another 25 minutes or another like basically hour, and then we'll be starting the next stream for today. So I'm ending this one here. And if I don't see you later, then I'll see you next time. You have a great day.